know about heart disease and coronary heart disease in particular is that it's multifactorial. And so that means there's a constellation of risk factors that kind of interplay together and cause someone to be at risk for heart disease. Now one of the most important risks is genetic risk or family history or relatives who have had heart problems. And it's not a modifiable risk factor, but it's something that we need to know about. Then the second group of risk factors are risk factors that are modifiable and there the good news is we can really take steps to reduce your risk if we know about these risks and we treat them appropriately. They would be your uh, cholesterol level in your blood, your blood pressure, whether or not you have diabetes, how regularly you exercise and whether or not you're a smoker. So we spend a lot of our time in our consultations seeing that we can help patients achieve their goals in terms of reducing the risk, in terms of providing them with sources of information and I think that's a big part of what we do here. There are two types of presentations that we see with coronary heart disease or narrowings in the heart arteries. One is a pattern that develops over weeks or months where you start to notice a progressive reduction in the amount of exercise that you can do. And this may be something that begins in a gradual uh, fashion, but it's important to seek help, to talk to your doctor and see if indeed a narrowings in the heart arteries are the cause of this. The second uh, type of problem that people get is pains in the chest or breathlessness that comes on all of a sudden, often associated with breathlessness, with nausea, with a sweaty type of feeling that comes over you. And I think uh, those are the type of people who we want to see regardless of the time of day. One of the things about heart disease is that it can be important to get things seen to in a timely manner. And if you're concerned about pains in your chest, if you're concerned about breathlessness, if you are concerned about palpitations, rest assured that there is an expert team here for you 24-7, 365 days a year. And if you think your body is telling you this, then it's important that you seek care in a timely manner.